And I have to say that uh, President Biden called me yesterday. He was very nice. We had a very nice conversation. I appreciated that he called about, you know, what happened the other day. And he says, <laughs> he's committed. He's committed. No, but and today, I, a little while ago, I got a, nice, a very nice call from Kamala. No, it was very nice. It was very nice. It's it's. It was very, very nice, and, and we appreciate that. But we have to take back our country. We have to win. We're going to win, and we're going to make America great again. That's all there is to it. Very simple, right? Good evening, President Trump. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you for taking our question. Thank you. My name is Barbara. I'm a mom of three, a grandmother of seven, and three great-grands, a registered nurse, retired retired nurse so I know the cost that goes into raising children and running a household yeah. people just can't survive now how are you going to bring down the cost of food and groceries good very good thank you so we have to start Always with energy, always. I don't want to be boring about it, but there's no bigger subject. It covers everything. If you make donuts, if you make cars, whatever you make, energy is a big deal. And we're going to get that. Uh, it's my ambition to get your energy bill within 12 months down 50%. If I can do that, we've done a hell of a job. 5-0, five, oh, five, not 15, 50. Interest rates are going to follow, and actually they're going to follow for another reason. The economy is now not good, and interest rates, you'll see, they'll do the rate cut and all the political stuff tomorrow, I think. And, you know, will he do a half a point? Will he do a quarter of a point? But the reason is because the economy is not good. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to do it. But we're going to get interest rates down, and we've got to work with our farmers. Our farmers are being decimated right now. They're being absolutely, absolutely decimated. Mr. President, one of the other things I think that you did that helped protect the American worker as much as anything else and also make our country and our community safer was you actually did something about the border. Just this month, there was a woman in my home state of Arkansas who was killed by an illegal immigrant who was drunk driving that was deported during your administration and came back under this administration because they have failed to protect our country. It's one of the great threats that we face that you actually did something about. Tell us what you will do on day one to help okay. protect our so country. So we're gonna be, day one we're doing two things, closing the border and drill, baby drill, two things. We're gonna get down the prices. Nice people, I like. I like this crowd. I like this crowd. No, this, you know what, you're smart people. So, Sarah, thank you. Over the last couple of years, I've been talking about the border. I got elected in 2016 because of the border. But that border was peanuts compared to what this border is. That border was like a safe border compared and I did it. I did a great job. You know my favorite chart, the chart I put down. When I look to the right, and I, my, that'll be my all-time favorite chart in history. That was basically a chart showing what a good job I did on immigration. But even if it showed I did a bad job on immigration, it will be my all-time favorite chart because I wouldn't be here right now if I didn't look over. Let me see that chart. That was not good. My all-time favorite chart, blue, yellow, red, it was, it was uh, beautiful. Oh, there it is. There it is. There, that was good. These guys are very good back. I didn't expect. 